Today we are going to introduce with the Mac Melsoft Series GX developer. Now for creating any PLC project, you have to create the new project and in that project you have to select the PLC and which type of programming you want to do. So let's just start by creating new project. Here there is a project option. Here you can create the new project. You can open the project which you created earlier. You can delete the project. You can also edit data in the project. You can import the file from another device on e in your computer storage or you can also export the file in various format that is GPPQ format, GPPA format, FXGP format and FXGP DOS format. Now you start by creating new project. A new window will come up. Here it's a PLC series means you want to select which PLC you are going to use. So according to that the project parameters will be set up automatically. Here I am going to select FX PLC. PLC type. There are various PLC type in the FX CPU. FX 3G, FX 3U. So I am going to select FX 3G PLC. And here there is program type. There is a ladder type or function block. So I am going to program in a ladder. So there is a ladder. Here you can also set the device path. Means where you want to save the project. You can give the project name. And you can also give title to your project. Click on OK. Now here new project is created. On the left hand side there is a project menu. Means here all the option. Under the program you can view the main program. Here you can also set the device commands. In the device command you can set it for x0. Means these are the inputs can set it as x0 as my start for the outputs you have to type your y0 and all outputs are displayed for timer you have to type t0 and all the timers are displayed in this way you can set the comments for easy understanding of the program here are the parameters of the PLC. You can set all the parameters related to the PLC. This will taken automatically but you, if you want to change any parameter you can change it from here. Memory capacity. You can give a PLC name. Then input output assignment. You can assign the, assign the input and outputs addresses. Here there is a possible range means from between 0 to 177 you can assign the address to the input and output also. Then PLC system if you if you are using a battery with the PLC they can you can check it this option use battery then modem initialize here you can set the communication mode of the PLC and this is a positioning and after configuring all parameters of that CPU you can check it click on the check button here there is a no error that means all things are ok all the parameters are ok then click on end in this way you can set the all parameters for your PLC go to the main program Here there is a first rung automatically came up. 
you can insert the contacts uh, from here directly so I can press the normally open contact by pressing the button and here here also I can edit the symbol means here there I will select the there I select normally open contact but here I can change it also normally close contact then output coil anything then here I have to give address x0 then click on ok in this way we have to put the contacts in our program now I'll select output coil and I'll get as a y0 the first rung is created in the next tutorials we are going to see how to create the PLC programs and how to transfer a DEM to the PLC. We are also going to learn counters and timers.